Today we're gonna make some delicious breakfast burritos. This was inspired by my son who is a burrito fanatic and he always comes up with some great ideas. This has eggs, bacon, some cheese. We have some Frank's hot sauce and I have one ingredient that's a little unusual for a burrito, but I'll tell you about that a little bit later in the video. These are easy to make and of course much healthier for you than if you went out to buy one. So let's get into it. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. Okay, so let's start off here with chef joke number one. What do you call a selfish bacteria in a Chipotle burrito? E. coli. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is that unusual ingredient that I said was in the burritos, right? Well, that ingredient is French fries. So I'm using frozen, which cook up very quickly and easily in the oven. And it takes about 20 minutes, I would say, total time. The other thing we wanna cook at the same time is some bacon, right? We talked about the bacon, there's bacon in this. So we're gonna cook that up in a frying pan and that takes about, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. So we'll cook those two things at the same time. After the potatoes and the bacon are done, we're gonna save some of that oil from the bacon because it has so much flavor. So I'm gonna pour some of that out and then we'll leave some in the pan. Keep it in your cup, that way if you need to add a little more because you need some more, you got it. To finish prepping the bacon, I like to stack it up and then cut it into bite-sized pieces. And this way, this ensures that you're gonna get a little bit of bacon in every bite. So next, we're gonna prep up a little bell pepper and some onion, and we're gonna cook that with our eggs. So just go ahead and slice up your bell pepper. I like to use the super fine dice here. And with the onion here, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. I just like to get the dice nice and small. This ensures a little bit of flavor in every bite. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna cook up that diced onion and a little bit of bell pepper in that, and just cook that for like three or four minutes until it's nice and soft. We also have to prep up our cheese. I'm using a white medium cheddar here and I'll just grate it up. Now I'm ready to scramble our eggs. I'm gonna use about two eggs per burrito, just to give you a guide. Give those a really good mix and then pour them into the pan and we'll add some salt and garlic powder. The garlic powder really adds some great flavor, by the way. And then I'm gonna mix that up a little bit and remember this is over about medium heat. Now it's time for cheese and I'm adding a nice handful as you can see here and sprinkling it all over. Feel free to use as much as you like. Now I'll stir this and cook it until, you, basically you wanna get it to where you get the consistency you like. Some people like it softer than others, so just do what works for you. This is about how done I like it. It's done, but it's still soft. It must be time for chef joke number two. What does a burrito say when it finishes doing something? That's a wrap. We are ready to assemble our burritos, but first let's talk about the tortillas. Now I'm using regular flour tortillas here. If you wanna use gluten-free, that works because this recipe could certainly be gluten-free with no problem. Take your tortillas. I have a tortilla oven here. These things are incredibly useful. So if you have any interest, I'll leave a link in the description for you and you can pick one of those up. All you gotta do is take your tortillas and place them into the tortilla warmer and pop it in the microwave for 30 to 45 seconds and they'll stay nice and hot for probably a half an hour. You can use tortilla warmers for other types of foods as well, like flatbreads, pancakes, and crepes. And anything else you wanna keep warm. I'm making two burritos here, so all we have to do is pull out a nice hot tortilla, add half of the, my egg mixture, because I have enough here for two burritos, and I'm going to add the bacon and some french fries. Now just add as much as you want. I like to make sure that I get a little bit of everything in every bite. And then we're gonna add some of Frank's red hot sauce. This gives it some really nice flavor with a, just a little bit of heat, which is not overpowering, it's really good. I will say that my son, the burrito fanatic, prefers sriracha sauce over Frank's, but both are good. He just happens to like a little more heat than some of us. Then we'll add some sour cream to that. I'm gonna add some little dollops all across the burrito. Remember, gotta have a little bit in every bite. Roll this puppy up and it is ready to eat. Breakfast is officially served and it's delicious. I can't wait for you to try this. Man, I'm telling you, the flavors in this are incredible. It, the eggs with the onions, the bacon grease, the little bit of bacon. Bacon makes everything taste great, right? The Frank's Red Hot, I'm telling you, it just gives it a little life, it gives it a little pep. 
not too much. The sour cream certainly calms that down. The flavors are great. You can pull this off in just maybe 20, 25 minutes and you've got a great breakfast and you could even meal prep these. If you're a burrito fanatic like my son, then you've got to try his creation that he came up with, Burrito Pie. This thing is very popular on my channel and a definite must try. It is delicious. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash the like button for me and leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. We'll see you back here next week for another Rockin' Recipe. Cheers.